again is time stamped for you to skip or jump ahead to save time. like this video enough to subscribe and join our YouTube family. Today's video is the in-depth review of my small YSR Lulu in the black hardware. I've had this bag for three years so I thought it's time to do a thorough review on it and hopefully you'll find it helpful if you're also thinking of adding this beauty to your collection. I'll start with again the history and story and the fan facts associated to the brand and the creation of this particular bag like I did to most of my bag videos. Then I'll go through the details of this particular bag and most importantly the wear and tear of this bag after owning it for three years. I will also show you what fits inside and finally the mock shot to show you how the bag looks with the different outfits. Now let's get started. Ipso Mohan was born in 1936 in Algeria, died in 2008 in Paris. He was the founder of the brand Saint Laurent and was considered the most prominent designer in the world during the 60s and the 70s. What sets him apart from his peers was his approach to blurring the lines between men's and women's fashion. He took uh, traditionally masculine items and turned them into women's wear such as this um, iconic Le Smoking, which was designed to empower the women. In 1954, at the tender age of 18, Eve entered the prestigious Woolmark Prize Contest in Paris and won the first place. Shortly after his win, he was hired by Christian Dior as his only assistant and became Dior's successor at the age of 21 after his sudden death in 1957. I have talked about this in more details in my recent video for the unboxing of my Lady Dior bag and I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check out later. In 1960, Yves was enlisted to the French army and suffered a nervous breakdown shortly after. The house of Dior quickly replaced him with a new designer, which um, in my opinion is really mean. But business is business, right? In 1962, after receiving compensation from Dior for breaching the contract, Yves and his partner, industrialist Pierre Bauger, used the funds to open his own fashion house and quickly emerged as one of the most influential designers in Paris. In his first collection in January 1962, Yves introduced a woman's peacoat that was inspired by the naval uniforms. In 1963, A.M. Cassandra, who is one of the world's greatest graphic designers of all time, designed this uh, world famous YSL logo for the fashion house, which has remained the brand's identity ever since. In 1966, Eve introduced this iconic Le Smoking tuxedo suit. It is a sharply tailored all black women's tuxedo, which has remained the signature of the fashion house till this day. In that same year, he opened a ready-to-wear boutique named Saint Laurent Rive Gorge. Rive Gorge means left bank in French because the store was located on the left bank of the Seine River. The word Rive Gorge has remained a stable phrase for the fashion house. We can even see it on this popular YSL shopping top. He also popularized the women's trousers for both city and country wears in the 60s and introduced the alt peasant look in the 70s. Yeah, that's when this um, pair of my favorite Espergel came out. That would be another story time if you're interested. He sold his uh, ready-to-wear business to Gucci for some $1 billion in 1999 and shut down his couture house um, when he retired in 2002. He died on the 1st of June 2008 in his Parisian home at the age of 71. Here comes uh, some fun facts. Fact number one. Eve won the first prize in the prestigious Walmart Prize International Design Contest in the dress category in 1954 at the age of 18. Beating the legendary Cole Lagerfeld 
who won the first prize in the coat category at the age of 21 in that same year. Fact number two, Yves was the very first French couturier to start a full ready-to-wear line in 1966. Before that, people had their clothes um, tailor-made by the couturiers, which takes time. Fact number three, in 1983, the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City had held a retrospective of Yves' designs. He was the first leading fashion designer to be honored by the Metropolitan Museum of Art with a solo exhibition. Fact number four. In 2007, Yves was made a Grand Officer of the Legion of Honor, which is the highest French order of merit, both military and civil. Fact number five. In 2009, the art collection Yves assembled with his partner Pierre Barget was auctioned in Paris for more than $483 million, a record price for a private art collection. How amazing! Now let's get to the creation of this uh, YSL Lulu. The Lulu was initially launched in early 2017, designed by Belgian designer Anthony Becquerel. It is one of the most sought after bags from Saint Laurent. The bag was named after Lulu de la Falaise, a fashion icon and jewelry designer. She was Yves' um, right hand and muse for 30 years until his retirement in 2002. Yves credited her as a dream to his uh, design inspiration. She inspired numerous Yves' uh, women's wear designs, including this legendary Le Smoking. She also designed jewelry and accessories for the fashion house. Therefore, this bag was named in recognition to her significant contribution to the fashion house. This bag features a Solomon Sam classic Y coating pattern, the YSL logo flap closure, and a shoulder strap. It comes in four sizes. This is the small Lulu, measuring 24 centimeters in length and 17 in height. On the inside, the bag features two main interior compartments, divided by a central zip pocket and one extra open pocket. It is fabric lined, which makes the bag very light to carry. This bag comes with a leather and chain shoulder strap that can also be worn doubled. The strap drop on the small Lulu is 56 cm, which is perfect for both shoulder and crossbody wear. When doubled, the shoulder strap drop is 30 cm, which you can either carry on the shoulder or by hand. Now let's uh, check out the bag for its wear and tear. I've had it for three years. I wouldn't say it's my most frequently used bag because I tend to wear the dark color in cooler months. But it has been worn quite a lot, especially during the winter. Look, there's very minimal signs of wear and tear. The only way I can see is the creasing of the top flap, more on the right side, which is um, unavoidable due to its design. You can see it more when I open the flap. The puffiness of the quilting is still as good as when it was new. And the black hardware, a lot of people complained that the Chanel black hardware tend to chip easily. But look at this one. No chipping at all, not even a faint sign of scratching, which is very impressive. I did spray the bag with a, a leather protector and I didn't cover the black hardware when spraying it. It didn't change the feel or look of the leather or the hardware. I always spray my bags and shoes up if they are made in the smooth leather. Please check out my videos on the maintenance tips for bags and shoes below if you're interested. Now let's see what fits inside. Now let's see how much of this bag fits. I'm going to do the other way around. I've got the bag full at the moment. I'm going to take all the items out and uh, let you see how many items it fits in. First, I'm going to take out my phone, my hand cream, hand sanitizer. Now let's get to the back. 
my card holder, my perfume, a little mirror, and chit tap, and um, my key patch, and my sunglasses. These are the items I carry on a daily basis. I'm sure you can fit in more because the bag was not full. Here comes the matcha. YSL bags currently. The smooth calf skin on this bag feels very soft and luxurious at the same time very durable. This bag doesn't have a fit but see the bottom and look perfect and I haven't really babied it. I chose this small over the toy Lulu which is also very popular with a removable leather strap because I love the chain and the leather strap which can be doubled up and when carrying in single chain the leather part sits flash on top of the bag which looks really nice. It is a handbag that can be dressed up or down very very effortlessly. After three years of regular use and storing it properly in its own dust bag it has held up really really nicely as you can see. So if you're looking for a luxury handbag that goes from day to night with an elegant look that doesn't break the bank, this YSL Lulu is a great choice. It is uh, significantly more affordable than the Chanel flat bag with amazing quality and great functionality. So if you have been debating whether you should add this bag to your collection, I'd say go for it. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if this is your first time here. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks for watching.